Okay, so for this next part, we need to generate a whole grid for ourselves. So, I'm going to do local grid equals an empty uh, table. And we're going to do two loops separately, just to make it a bit easier to understand. So, we're basically going to make the x-axis of the maze. So if x equals 1, grid, sorry, not grid, calls, do grid x equals an empty table. So this kind of like we're making the x-axis of the whole maze and we're setting it to well possible y, y values. Okay you'll understand eventually so that's just the x-axis and we're gonna make the y-axis so for x v in pairs grid do so we kind of loop through the x-axis here. Got to add a weight just to make it, you know, you can actually see it working. And then we're making the y here. So for y equals one, the number of rows do. Uh, v y is equal to. Well, we're going to create a cell. So we need to create a cell here. And to do that. I'm going to be using the module script, which I defined up here. Uh, let me just zoom in, just so it's easier to read. Uh, so we're gonna, I'm going to do maze dot new, which doesn't exist yet. We need to make this. Uh, I'm going to do local cell. I should actually do maze dot new for now. So, in this module script, we need to call this maze. Um, and we need some variables. We need uh, replicate storage, get service, replicate storage. Uh, uh, we can just copy and paste these. Okay, yeah. Now <laughs> we're gonna use like a sort of way of programming here called object oriented programming which basically makes the code uh, sort of easier to understand and read especially if other people are reading it so what we're gonna do is if we just look, look up oop it's called object oriented programming so it's a programming model organizes software designed around data or objects. So objects, basically, what we're going to do is create a cell. So the cell that we create is going to be an object. And to do this, what we're going to do is maze. Just write out this line, maze dot underscore underscore index equals maze. I'll explain what that does in a second. And we're going to write out the function here. Maze.new equals function. We're going to need the x and the y. Uh, so we can give it the x and the y here because we have the y and the x. Okay. So we're going to create a cell. And the cell is going to be an object, like it says here. And objects can have uh, properties. Or yeah, properties and um, functions just for themselves. So each cell will have its own sort of functions and properties. So local cell equals an empty array table array level, and set the meta table of cell to maze. Go in a bit, okay. And then we need to give it a bunch of sort of uh, properties. So the model is equal to replicate storage dot cell clone. So we're just making the model this and we're cloning it so we can use it more than once. Uh, the base is equal to the model dot base. The x is equal to x and the y is equal to y. These are the values we passed in. Uh, from this script, where we actually made the grid. So, we've set the 
this is just going to make it easier to edit in the future. So we need to do this so we can yeah, access them later. And each cell has four rules. So the way we're going to do it is make it so that cell.rules is equal to true, 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 true. Because right now, every ick starts with all four rules set to visible. So we're going to make it true, 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 true. So this is kind of like the front rule, the left one, the back one, and the one to the right. And then cell dots. I've called mine WASD, the rules. So I'm going to do cell.w. I guess I could do... Should I rename them? Uh, no, I'll just... I'll just WASD. So the w equals cell.model dot w. And we need to do this for every single rule, so... WASD ASD And then... Oh yeah, we need a visited value, which will help, which is what, it's going to let the maze algorithm know whether the cell has already been visited or not. So we'll set that to false. We need to return it as well. So, return cell. If we return it, we can make cell equal to maze.new. So basically cell is equal to this cell we created here. Um, okay. And we need to add that to the whole grid. This grid is the whole maze. So it's going to be made up of cells. So, V, Y is equal to cell. Yeah, yeah, okay. Which means it's kind of like we made the X values, we're giving it the Y value. And then. Uh, well, we haven't made the actual physical thing yet. So I'll do that now. Okay. I'm going to make a function in the thing called create. We need to pass in the x and the y again. Well, actually, no, we don't necessarily need to do that. Okay, so I'll create. Maze. We're using a um, colon here instead of a dot or period, uh, which I'll explain what that does in a sec. So, function maze create. So this kind of, since we're using object oriented programming and a, uh, I'm using this colon here, we're basically passing through this hidden parameter called self. So self would be equal to this cell. So we can do self.x because we, we made x up here. So we're going to do self.model.parent is equal to workspace. So that's, a, that's actually going to put it in the workspace now. Um, and we're going to do self.model sets primary parts C frame. And we need yeah, make sure all of your other parts inside the cell are anchored. And we're just, we're just gonna give it a vector three position. So vector three dot new self dot x, I believe. Uh, yeah, we'll do self dot x zero self dot y. And uh, we also need to times it by W and H up here. If we don't, then it's not going to be in the right position. And yeah, we can just do zero on this Y axis. Uh, because yeah, we'll be in the same Y position for all of them. And that should hopefully work. Uh, yeah. So we run this, it should create. Oh, We've got an error, unable to cast vector 3 to coordinate frame. Okay, that's because we need to do. So we're setting the C frame. We need to give it a C frame. So we'll do C frame dot new. And then this. Uh, yeah. Okay. Should paste that in here. Sorry about that. That should hopefully work this time. 
Okay, yeah, here you go, here you go. I just made the grid. And as you can see, the walls right here are in the same place. And that's because, that's what we want. It's because we did 14 take away 2. To put them in the same place, because each wall is too wide, two studs wide. Okay, so that's it for this part. I'm going to... The next part I'm going to start on the actual maze generation. We're just making the grid right now. But basically each cell has its own model. As you can see we've created all the models in here. And it also has its own X and Y value. Which we're going to need to... We're going to need to compare them to each other to be able to actually create the maze.